Hello everybody, welcome to They Sound the Same. And today we're going to look at pairs of words that sound very similar. Uh, I'm going to give you some sentences and I'm going to give you some words that they rhyme with. So let's see if we can get a handle on some of these confusing words for you. Our very first pair will be bland and blend. Okay, bland means no taste or plain. It rhymes with sand. My doctor put me on a bland diet. Blend is to combine things. Think of a blender. I like to blend different fruits to make a smoothie. Our second pair will be cheat and sheet. Cheat, rhyming with the word beat, not following the rules. I hate cheats. They ruin it for everyone. Let's compare that to sheet and be careful with this word. And that's something you write on. Uh, may I borrow a sheet of paper? Two parts of the body, shin and chin. The shin is part of the leg and the chin is part of the face. I hurt my shin and chin playing football. Our next pair are ten rhyming with pen and ten rhyming with pin. Uh, ten is a number and ten is a type of metal. I bought ten tins of tuna at Publix. Ben and Ben. Ben is the name. Ben Franklin is my favorite founding father. And ban rhyming with fan means not allow. I think it is awful when schools ban books. Now we're going to compare heart rhyming with the word Bart and hurt rhyming with the word dirt. Now heart is an organ that pumps blood, but sometimes we use it like in an emotional way, like he has a great heart, meaning he is a kind or generous person. The verb hurt is in or causing pain. So I could say, she really hurt my heart when she dumped me. And dump means left. Okay, now we're going to do dull and dull. Dull means not sharp. This knife is really dull. It can also mean boring or uninteresting. Let's compare that with dull, rhyming with Paul. And dull is a child's toy. Little girls love their dolls. Our next pair of words are sheep and cheap. Sheep is an animal that gives us wool and cheap is something that's not expensive. So I could say we bought a cheap sheep for our farm. Later, ladder. Later rhymes with gator and later means a time in the future. Compare it with ladder rhymes with sadder. A ladder is a device used to climb. May I borrow your ladder later? Cut versus cat. Cut, rhyming with putt, is a tear in your skin. Cat, rhyming with fat, that's a feline, an animal. Uh, the cat had a cut on his leg. Recipe versus receipt. Recipe, directions for cooking. I need your recipe for arepas. Receipt, proof of purchase or documentation that you paid for something. An example, you will need your receipt in order to exchange your pants. Boat versus boot. Boat, rhyming with the word float, is a water vessel. They just bought a boat. Boot, rhyming with the word root, is a covering for the foot bigger than a shoe. I love your new boots. Ship versus chip. Ship is also a water vessel, but bigger than a boat. The Titanic is a famous ship. Now chip, rhyming with tip, is a small piece of wood or a small piece of anything. Example sentences. I need some wood chips to smoke the meat and I love potato chips. Let's compare suck and sock. 
Now, suck is to draw the taste in. You've been sucking on that lollipop for a long time. Now, sucks is one of the most common American slang terms, and it means something that's bad. Sock rhymes with rock. Is something you wear under your shoes and it covers your feet. I lose one sock every time I do a wash. Okie doke, let's compare cod and card. Cod, rhyming with sod, is a type of fish. I love fried codfish. Card, rhyming with lard, is a piece of thick, stiff paper or plastic. I used a credit card to pay. Pair versus peer. Okay, a little homophone alert. Pear, P-E-A-R, is fruit. Pear, P-A-I-R, is the number two. Now you can really hear the air in these words. I have a pair of pears. Would you like one? The word peer, rhyming with deer, are your co-workers or your equals. I get along great with my peers. Okay, we're going to compare beer and bear. And beer, rhyming with deer, a tasty alcoholic drink. Let's compare that to bear, rhyming with fair, which of course is an animal. And our sentence is, the bear got drunk when he found the beer. Okay, let's compare share and chair. Share, two or more people using something. I can share my lunch if you are hungry. Chair, a piece of furniture you sit on. Are there any more chairs? Here and here, and homophone alert. Here, H-E-A-R, with ear in it, is recognizing sounds. Here, H-E-R-E, means at this location. Examples, can you hear me? Is everyone here? Hair, with that air sound. Thread-like strands growing from your head or body. She has beautiful long hair. Soup versus soap. Soup is a mixture of food items in a broth. Soap, soap is something we wash with. I need to pick up some chicken soup and dish soap later. And our last two are ankle versus uncle. Uncle would be your father's brother. Ankle, part of the leg. My uncle broke his ankle when he fell. FYI, all the text from this lesson is located in description below. for watching please subscribe to my channel and if you like this video hit the like button